Shopper self-checkout app. No more standing in line ever again at brick and mortar retail, because we can put the point of sale directly on the shopper's mobile device. Okay, so uh, walk me through this because it sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> For me to, by the way, I, know I actually I love to shop, hate to wait. But uh, basically how it works is we have a beacon integration. So when you've downloaded our app to your Android or your iOS phone, you're out and about, and you're walking down the shops and you come into contact with one of our participating merchants, you would get a lock screen notification to your watch or to your phone saying, welcome back to you know, the store. And then it would, you would swipe that notification, you're, it puts you in that in-store mode, so you can now start shopping. So it's branded to the retailer, so you start scanning barcoded items and you add them to your digital cart, at the same time you add them to your physical cart. Okay. And then once you're done, kind of like you're shopping online, except you're in the physical store, you can pay with a number of different mobile wallets. So including Apple Pay, PayPal, credit cards, you know, whatever makes sense to, to you, whatever you prefer. And then you get an in-app receipt. Okay. So then as you're leaving the store or the fitting room or wherever, the associate has an associate facing app, and she would just scan your digital receipt to verify that that was a successful transaction and give you a bag and, and off you go. This sounds like a, a fantasy world. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it actually just, and it gives you the joy back of shopping and focus on shopping rather than paying. How much time do you think people waste in line? I'm sure you don't have the exact statistics, but I can imagine it's a lot. It is a lot of time. I mean, you think about that, and even in like in a clothing retailer in particular, you may have already had to wait in line to get into the fitting room. The last thing you want to do after that is in, go, sometimes you don't even know where the cash desk is, and find it and then wait in yet another line. When you talk about scanning items as you're going through the store, are you scanning them with your phone? Yes. Okay, so you're just adding them and adding them, just like you would scan maybe your phone when you're buying something at Starbucks, for example. Exactly. So you would just, the way it works uh, with self-pay is you scan the barcode on the item. And it, it could be any kind of a barcode. It could be the UPC sticker that's already, you know, printed on the packaging, like on a Hershey's bar. Or it could be a price sticker that the retailer added um, added to that. And it's it's extremely quick and fast. I mean, the, what's amazing is the, the development and improvement of mobile phones and smartphones over time has made it such that to do these kinds of tasks is just a split second. Do you believe there will be a time in the future where this whole idea of a cash register is just obsolete? I do. I do. Because that function has only remained as a separated function. Just there was some technology limitations and a little bit of, well, this is how we've always done it. Uh, but it's not, that's not, that part of the process is not why you're there. I mean, we, we joke sometimes and say that they're not, we're not called payers, we're called shoppers. So the focus is putting it back on shopping and just blending the payment as a part of the, the experience. So you get to spend much more time of your life just enjoying shopping, being with your friends, uh, you know, or just getting on with your day rather than worrying about spending time on the transaction part.